So a dramatic uh, interruption to the final was caused by a petrol crack in the petrol lines of the 156 car of Jerry Rothwell out on the infield. Uh, a very scary moment as uh, the car was engulfed in flames but Jerry out has been checked by the Red Cross. He's okay, he got out the car fine. He's just worried about the uh, Anglia 100E itself but uh, everything now been given the all clear and the remaining uh, six cars out to contest the remaining balance of the laps in this final. Darren Owen leading them away with Tim Foxlow, Stu Donald, Graham McCabe, Desi Howard and Kevin Feeney. So a whole bevy of uh, Mark II escorts at the watch event. And we are racing again. Very atmospheric turn after the early sunshine. In complete night time now as the thunder through under the lights. Desi Howard lighting up the brakes as he turns through the bends. Darren on the flyer, Tim in second. Really flying around this big track. by the Northern Irish driver. First time that we've seen him on camera and uh, put a great turn of speed. Further up, top three very close indeed. Owen from Foxlow and Donald. Going round like they're on rails. Kevin Feeney just went through picture there as we look at the leaders. Stu Donald doesn't look like he's been away from racing for over 12 months, so he looks as fresh as a daisy flying away in third place. Having a look at the tail end of Donald. And away the top three go flying through again. Tim under a serious misfire there. And uh, he even decided to let the faster Donald through in car 29. Back on it again as he flies through on the inside of turn three and four. Just about three laps left to go in this final now. And it's still very close indeed. Great battle for the top three positions. Fantastic racing from all of them. Equally from Scotland's Graham McCabe and Northern Ireland's Desi Howard. And that was the chequered flag and the winner of the inaugural event for the Classic Hot Rod Irish Grand Prix is the West Midland driver number eight, Darren Owen, winning from a hair's breadth ahead of his uh, fellow drivers, number 144, Tim Foxlow, 29, Stu Donald in third. A great drive between Graham McCabe and Desi Howard battling all the way for fourth place. And it was the Scotsman who came out on top, but only just. It was a great drive by those five drivers. And indeed, all credit to Kevin Feeney for being out there as well in car 100. And we do wish him all the very best for bringing that car even to our highest standard of preparation as he moves into 2015. A great drive by all drivers. 
We've been made to feel extremely welcome here at uh, Tipperary Raceway. All the drivers concerned have thoroughly enjoyed themselves and uh, rest assured guys we will be back for more next season. Thank you very much indeed for having us all. So just to wrap up things there we are top three out together. The classic hot rod top three for the Irish Grand Prix. Number eight Darren Owen, 144 Tim Foxlow and 29 Stu Donald. That wraps it up for tonight and we'll see you next time.